Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rebel Gamer. Kamusta kayo? So, uh, looks tough 5 ano, yung ating papanood ng yan. Top uh, of the 5 scariest ghost video. So, tara, uh, start na natin. Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings in Toronto, Canada. <clears throat> James Creepy ang ano? Ang ano na to? Building. Just hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former... Ano? ...in that was built in 1860. Oh, tagal na no, 1860 pa. And it is said to be extremely hot. Ayan no, parang ano no, nirenovate lang siya no. Now James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. Ang lakas nun, gagi. Poltergeist to. Poltergeist, no? Lakas. While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair. By an unseen oh. force. An lagas po cha. Is it a um, is it a male? Oh, oh, my God. God. The door behind me was open. Ah, ito yun. Yung kasalita ito yun. Saya tatong negro. Oh. And um, I had my partner sitting beside me, and we had the door like the door was open by, behind us and we thought we heard something back there but nothing was there so we turned and i looked and i saw nothing so i turned my head back towards the group like the circle and we're all holding hands and then all of a sudden i just felt like this force just come and pull me back and it was like aggressive like aggressive it wasn't like calm it was aggressive like it was trying to kill me or something. I don't even know. My feet were like flat on the ground. I wasn't moving. I was holding hands with the people beside me and it just pulled me. And it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the mirror. Lagas no no. No no no. Portugation. It was crazy. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses from the seance took to Instagram to share their stories about the incident. One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened and it was fantastic to see. Another witness says, I was there. Another epic seance with at James White seance. So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor at the Lambton house? I leave it up to you to decide. Scream. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. Ito, dashcam, nakuha na, no? Ano kaya makikita dito? Uy! Ito? Hindi. Ayun! Gago. Naglalakad yung babae. Excuse me, you need help. 
Oo, kasi ano yun eh. Ah, uh, parang ano na to eh. Oh. Ba't maglalakad si ate doon? Parang naglalakad na siya sa kawalan. No? The driver suddenly spots a woman walking all by... Ayan, oh. Sino ba naman maglalakad ng gabi? Mag-isa, babae pa. Yourself in the middle of the night. As oh, ayan, oh. He gets close. Sir, he is horrified. Oh, para may dugo. And when he sees that the woman is covered in blood. Oh, may dugo. May dugo. Worried for her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help. After which she lets out a blood-curdling scream. Oh, go. What the? So may go. At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes, Oy. only black sockets. Terrified by her reaction and appearance, the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. So just what do you think is going on here? Mm. And what would you do in this same situation? What the, f <laughs> the woman in white. Not a white lady. Top 5 viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next is truly chilling. Are you afraid? That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one, come here. This one. This is a private office. So you can't go in there. No, I'm saying it's open. Because ah, ang ganda pa ng mga gamit, ano? Ang linis pa eh. Kasama so, nila yung anak nila? Nag-explore? Uy! Did you see it? Oh, you know. Who seems to be wearing a white gown? Ayo. Hindi ko na, hindi ko napansin. I'm the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Let me know. What you think we need scary videos so if you see something that you think would be perfect for the top five send it to us at nukes top five at gmail.com the burial mounds paranormal investigator ian from the youtube channel midwest ghost hunter is back with another investigation this time at the mysterious native american burial mounds at the crow wing river in minnesota many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices, and some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. <laughs> Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. <laughs> Hindi ko kaya lumakad sa ganyang ano? Oh? Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. Like, from anywhere. Bears, Bigfoot, ghosts. Yun, yun ang delikado dyan. Mamaya may, ano no? May bear na malaki po. Tsaka kaya mga leon, ahas, ayok. Okay, dapat talaga maingat ka rin. Tsaka hindi talaga biro ang uh, pag-explore, no? Anything. Okay. I don't know 
if I'm going crazy. I thought I heard something behind me. Hello? Who's over there? I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh holy shit. Okay. Oh, All right. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't, know. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm gonna try walking backwards because I want to see what's coming up behind me. Ito ako, tatakbo na ako dyan. Ganyan, no? Naglalakad ka, naririnig mo yung paa mo. Siyempre, bago, bigla kang may maririnig din na isa pa. Ay! Takbo, oh. Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. <laughs> Naglakad siya ng patalikod, eh. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh Ay. my God! Holy sh**! That scared me so bad. Man. That was a straight up voice. From thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello? Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American <laughs> burial mounds. What happens next? is truly disturbing. Natana. All right, here's mound number 2. I'm actually not going to say anything this time. I'm actually just going to listen. Creepy. Ayun. Para may nag-uusap. Oh, a... oh my god, I'm hearing all kinds of things over here. It sounds like voices, but they're so faint. Parang matanda. Matanda mabae. Well, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> this scorpion. Female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long, involved conversation. But it's something else that really... Hindi masyadong clear. Hindi masyadong clear yung sinasabi. He spooks Ian as he explores the crowing river's edge. Something truly Ako. terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here out in the wilderness even though it's dark i can barely see 10 feet ahead of me holy hey. shit. Oh, what the goose <laughs> just when i said it was fun being out here pretty sure those goose back there splashing in the water of all things <laughs> ian's biggest <laughs> I like it. scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy sh! Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next is truly bizarre. <gasps> okay, I start talking. It sounds like a male voice. Mm -hmm. Could you speak again? Hey. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, no, gulat ako, may may lumabas. <laughs> may lumabas eh. Malang iya. Dude! That was a face! Dito. Parang glimpse lang. I just see the face! That was a glowing face! Ayan no. Ayan no. Gago. Oh my god, I cannot believe that!
Parang nagpakita lang saglit na, tapos nawala na. Dude, his face just appeared right there. Right there. Dito, dito. Oh my god, that was one of the craziest <laughs> things I've ever seen. It's one thing to see a light, a mist, or even a shadow, but a face? A face. It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, the San Haven Sanatorium. Oh, Duke's top five yeah. viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky <coughs> set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Hmm? Na to, ano na to? Hospital ba to? of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is now... Oh, oh, tenen niya. Just me, explore mo nang gabi yan. Magandang explore yung mga ganito. Malagang abandonado to. Known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. No, I found some more. Hey, oh, come on, let me have that. Ito, oh, more gear. <clears throat> Couldn't tell you. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, this building's getting pretty, pretty bad. Is that you? What's oh, up? Oi, new. May nangalampag ah. That wasn't you, was it? No. Oh, yeah, daga lang. Hmm. Para may naglalakad sa bubong. There's someone upstairs. There's someone upstairs. I hope so. Hello? Hello? Where are you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. Hmm. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that you? The thing down the hall. A group of oh, man, friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. Oh, 
no, 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 no,